Website defacement is a particularly cool thing that hackers love to do. They hack a website and leave their custom-made web page on the homepage. So when someone visits the website, they are greeted by that anonymous web page. A website defacement attack breaches a site's defenses, allowing hackers to replace its content with their own messaging. These messages may contain political or religious statements, vulgar language, or other offensive material that can embarrass the website owner and its audience. Defacers seeking public attention often leave behind signs such as their website or contact information, which can be used to identify them. Even without data theft, website defacement represents a significant security breach and damages a business's reputation. In this video, I'm going to show you five methods that hackers use to deface a website. The content of this video is intended for educational purposes only. It aims to raise awareness about website security and the potential risks of website defacement. The techniques discussed are presented solely to inform website owners and developers on how to protect their sites from potential attacks. We do not endorse or encourage any illegal activities, including hacking or website defacement. Always act responsibly and within the law. If you are a website owner, please take proactive steps to secure your website and consult with cybersecurity professionals if needed. One method is through RFI vulnerabilities, which can lead to website defacement. RFI is a security flaw that hackers exploit to insert remote malicious files into a web application. This vulnerability is commonly used to run malicious code on a server, deface a website, or steal confidential data. A hacker can exploit an RFI vulnerability by identifying a vulnerable website parameter such as page, which might look like this URL. By manipulating the parameter to point to a malicious file hosted on their server, like they can inject code that defaces the website. For example, the injected file could contain the following content, which would alter the homepage to display the defacement message. If successful, the website would show the hacker's message instead of its original content. Another method hackers use for website defacement is SQL injection. SQL injection involves inserting malicious SQL queries into a web application's input fields. The attacker can manipulate the database, retrieve sensitive information, modify data, or deface the website if proper input sanitization isn't implemented. A hacker can exploit an SQL injection vulnerability by identifying a vulnerable input field such as a login form or URL parameter, like this example. By injecting malicious SQL code instead of valid input, the hacker can manipulate the query to bypass authentication or alter data. For instance, inputting following text as the username would terminate the query early, allowing the attacker to log in without a password. To deface the site, they could inject something like this which modifies the database to display their defacement message on the home page. XSS is also used for website defacement. An attacker can inject malicious scripts into web pages accessible to visitors. XSS attacks can tamper with website content, steal session cookies, or redirect users to malicious sites. A hacker can exploit an XSS vulnerability by injecting harmful JavaScript code into a vulnerable input field or URL that is reflected back to users. For example, if a search box on a website doesn't sanitize input, the attacker could craft a URL like the following. When a user clicks the link, the website would display the injected JavaScript showing a pop-up with the message. To deface the site more subtly, the attacker could inject a script that modifies the page content, which changes the page's visible content for all visitors. They can also inject malicious scripts into comment sections leading to a persistent defacement attack. A brute force attack can be used to deface a website by targeting the admin login page. The hacker repeatedly attempts different password combinations using a tool like Hydra. For example, they can run a Hydra command that tries multiple passwords for the admin account. Once the correct password is found, the attacker logs into the website's content management system with administrative privileges. They can then edit the home page or other key pages inserting a defacement message, altering the site's content to display their message to all visitors. Hackers can also exploit vulnerable plugins to deface a website. They target outdated or poorly coded plugins with known security flaws, commonly found in content management systems like WordPress or Joomla. 
Once a vulnerable plugin is identified, the attacker can execute remote code or inject malicious content. For example, a plugin vulnerable to arbitrary file uploads could allow the hacker to upload a malicious file, such as a web shell, to the server. They can use this shell to manipulate the website's files and replace the homepage content with a defacement message. This entire process can be automated with tools like WPScan, which identifies vulnerable plugins and provides easy exploitation paths for website defacement. Website defacement can have serious consequences, including damage to the site's reputation, loss of trust among users, financial losses due to downtime and potential legal issues if sensitive information is compromised. Defaced websites often display offensive or misleading content, which can harm the brand's image and reduce user engagement. To prevent defacement, website owners should regularly update all software, including CMS platforms and plugins, use strong admin credentials with multi-factor authentication, and implement web application firewalls to block common attack vectors like SQL injection and remote file inclusion. Regular security audits and vulnerability scanning along with proper input validation and sanitization, can also help safeguard websites from defacement attacks. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and smash the like button. Thanks for watching.